Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in the Outer Worlds. This time, we are starting to go to Sophia, the adjunct person maybe on the board, perhaps? So we'll see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen, but we have a rook bench. Can I break anything down? Yes, kind of. Um, yeah, I might as well break it down. Yeah, break it down. Armor, get rid of it. Trash it, you know. I've got a backpack out of that. Can I modify anything already? No, no. Um, magazine size. I guess, but we probably will find another rifle like this relatively soon anyways. Um, let's see, this, these are our partner's stuff. I think this is Vickers Max. Firing noise, critical damage. Yeah, give him a firing noise one. That's alright, that looks pretty cool, honestly. A T and L shock cannon ultra. Could he use more ammo? No, that wouldn't be good for corrosion. Mag to zap. Plasma damage. Magazine size. Well, I think we'll be okay. And level 18, level 16. I need to get my partner some more stuff. Well, let's go inside. Not so fast. All right, you're clear. The adjutant's expecting you. Go on through. I thought they said they'd just like take all my guns or something. Like I'm not gonna go in without guns up to this place. Are you kidding me? Ooh, a vendor machine. Well, a surcharge. Wow. Oh man, that's uh, that ain't great. All right, I wonder what this person has to say to us. Oh, we're... Are we back up here? Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, I guess we can go through here now. Nice. Can I, um... No, okay. A pipe patch. I admit, part of me expected you to stand by your old friend. For better or worse, Wells was responsible for putting you back on your feet. That said, he's also a wanted criminal. For information regarding his whereabouts, you are entitled to collect a reward from Percival. Alright. I've been meaning to turn him in. So, why do you want to see me? I understand you've infiltrated the Ministry. The things you discovered there must have been shocking, even disturbing. Eh. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. Is that why we were suffering plague in Edgewater? Malnutrition? All those folks sick and dying, and you knew why the whole time? Yes, Miss Holcomb, we knew why. We've known for some time that Edgewater was dying. The colony itself is dying. The suffering you experienced in Edgewater, the disease, the starvation, will soon spread across Halcyon unless we <clears throat> act. Adjutant Akande, as much of an honor as it is to make your acquaintance, I must say, I am gravely disappointed. Protecting the colony was your duty. I share your disappointment, Vicar de Soto. Protecting Halcyon is my solemn duty, and I have been negligent. I can no longer depend on lazy, weak-willed bureaucrats to help me rescue Halcyon. I need someone with a backbone, someone like your captain. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse. But there is a way to save it. Alright, what about this? We need to talk about Emerald Vale. Hmm. You handed Edgewater over to a band of dissidents. I can't have this. Adelaide McDevitt and her people have no place in the Halcyon that is to come. Edgewater needs to go. I want you to wipe the town out. No survivors. I cannot condone this plan. 
Wanton, senseless destruction of life is never the solution. I don't need you to approve of my plan, Vicar. I need you to get it done. You're a monster. Someone has to be. Now is not the time for half measures, Captain. I need a decision from you. Well, let's explore this. What did Edgewater do? You replace a loyal, if hard-headed, town leader with a revolutionary. Adelaide's people have turned Edgewater into a hub of dissidents. These people are dangerous. They're going to become more dangerous after the collapse. We need to put them down. Now. But... they, As far as I know, they seem to be doing okay. You know? Um... This is all your fault. So why me? Because right now you're the only person I can depend on. My hands are tied by endless rolls of red tape and bureaucratic limitations. Halcyon is going to collapse while the board hems and haws and debates minutia. We need to act. And you're the only person with the wherewithal to do what's necessary. I'm not asking you to be a murderer. I'm asking you to be a surgeon. Edgewater is a necrotic limb on the body of the colony. It must be severed. They're self-sufficient, though. Don't fool yourself. The dissidents occupying Edgewater are rebels harboring dangerous and seditious ideas. Left to their own devices, their numbers will grow. Graham Bryant and his merry band of morons caused enough trouble on Monarch. <coughs> I won't risk the same thing happening in Edgewater. Well, Graham's already dead. Um... You're nuts. No. Allowing thousands of colonists to starve to death because we couldn't make one cold-blooded decision is insane. What I'm suggesting is absolutely logical. You talk less like a human than mechanicals I've known. I am responsible for every single human life in this colony. Do you imagine I relish the thought of killing some of them to save the rest? Steal your spine, Captain. Do what needs to be done. Let's say we'll do it, but we'll see what happens. I won't. You're better than this, Captain. You have to be. You'll do as I damn well tell you. Don't well, make me choose between you and Edgewater, Captain. Between you and my people. Please. I'm glad you can keep control over your associates. Edgewater is beyond saving. <clears throat> we're going to have to erase the town, but we're going to do it systematically. You were in the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. Do you remember what you discovered there? Um... Yeah, it was a lot of space to destroy its mechanicals. There was an accident at the Emerald Vale geothermal plant many years ago. Auto mechanicals turned hostile and slaughtered the plant's workers. Tragic, really. In fact, Spacer's Choice manufactured the incident for an insurance claim. They outfitted their mechanicals with a termination protocol. Which is exactly what we need. Hmm. Space Your Choice got away with it? The insurance claim has been locked in committee for years. But the individual responsible for the accident was promoted for lateral thinking. I'm arranging for a delivery of mechanicals to Edgewater. These mechanicals have been equipped with the same termination protocol, which must be activated from a terminal in the plant. Once the mechanicals are finished cleaning out Edgewater, I'll need you to go in and clean out the mechanicals. Understand? Oh. Ah, uh, got it. One last thing. Spacer's Choice sent a team of soldiers to investigate your little misadventure in the geothermal plant. Tread lightly. <clears throat> All right. I'll take Report care of it. Report back to me when the job's done. All right, then. So, I, I would notice in that dialogue that you couldn't like choose any other options for like persuasion intimidation or intimidation intimidation persuasion and the other one i can't remember now at the current moment but um it was interesting there's no way you can back out of whatever needs to get done or try to manipulate your words to achieve a different outcome so that was interesting to see very interesting we're going to have to figure out what we're going to have to do. Oh, wait. Byzantium. Oh. There's a control terminal? Uh, how do we get up there? 
Oh, um, do I have to go back up the elevator? Maybe I have to. Oh, I went up maybe the other elevator? Mechanical control terminal. But before we do anything, I'm, of course I'm going to talk to Adelaide and tell her about what's going on. So. Very interesting way the game has turned out so far. Oh, maybe I, oh, I have to go this way, maybe. This is the other other elevator. Like, yeah, in the last episode we went up the other elevator from Byzantium. But this time we're going to go this way. Um, is that just inside the terminal? I think it's just inside my ship. Hmm. Well, I could have just fast traveled in there. Oh well, what's done is done. Alright. Anything on this terminal? Nope. Oops. Nope. Well then. Maybe I'll talk to Wells. Maybe I'll talk to Adelaide. Well, definitely talk to Adelaide, but... I'm gonna liberate the colony. Why would I gas if them all? Well, maybe I would. The engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Well, I don't see her, so... We'll get Sam down here eventually. Alright. Sending a corrupted tracking signal to the board was quite clever. If I might say, Captain. Um, actually, before we do that, check the... Oh, Ellie, she's got a upgrade that I'm never going to use. Second wind, sounds good to me. Nioka? Second wind, sounds good to me. Anyone else? Sam? Second wind, sounds good to me. Journal. Use a termination protocol. Speak to... Oh, crud. Ah, oh, I should have got... I should have did this. Um... Well, I just left that area. I don't want to go back in immediately, so... Travel to the Hope. I could do that. Let's go to Tier 2. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Alright, back to Edgewater where everything pretty much began for us. We need to talk to Adelaide about this. <coughs> and see how the colony may be thriving or dying. If it's dying, they will take everyone out. But if it's thriving, then they're going to take everyone out. What's the point of that? I liberated them to a degree. But we'll see how things are running. Maybe they're doing great. Maybe they're not doing great. I don't know. Good old Edgewater. Alright. Oh, doesn't look like it's changed very much. Still making all that regular salt tuna, I guess. We're gonna talk to Adelaide about this. My trustworthy companions. Time changes all things. Even Reed's stranglehold over Edgewater must inevitably yield to the attrition of time. Um. Now that Reed's gone, what do you plan to do? Start anew. Edgewater will become the town it was meant to be. A place where we live in harmony with the world. Where none of us writhe under the whips of corporate masters. A place where all are welcome. Except for Reed's supporters, of course. <laughs> um, what about your garden? The garden will bloom anew. I have plans to transform the old cannery into a nursery, with crops enough to feed a town. You're still using corpses? But of course. And now we have a whole cemetery to ourselves. What about the plague? Saltuna was making the town sick. From now on, if anybody's hungry, they may feast from the bounty of the soil. Well, okay then. Our body? Where are we headed? You mentioned something earlier. You mean why I'm not allowed in the store anymore? Uh, let's just leave the conversation. Man, I wanted to see if there's any dialogue between me and Adelaide and... 
just letting them know what's going on about Edgewater. I mean, you know, I've been trying to help as many people as I can. Obviously, I have to make hard decisions, but I'm a little disappointed that I can't talk to Adelaide about this. So be it. Hmm. Do I want to do this or not? Hmm. To wipe out everyone in Edgewater. Um. You know what? Well, maybe we'll wipe everyone else out in Edgewater, but um, maybe we'll travel to the Hope after this as well. Or no, maybe we'll do long distance just to speak to Percival. Can I fast travel there? Because, I mean, what she says makes sense. I mean, if there's too many people and you take out a group that you don't like you or something. I just wish I had more options here. I feel very constrained by these options at the current moment. Corporate Trooper. Wow. There's a lot of stuff around here. Hello. Edgewater Geothermal Plant from the planet to your living room. With a smile on our face. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Oh boy. This area is currently experiencing a surprise audit. Turn around and head back to your designated workplace or domicile. Ah, uh, you're a stickler for the rules. I'm sure adjunct adjutant Akande will appreciate that. Oh, uh, yes. Absolutely. A real stickler for the rules. Hard-ass Hogarth. That's what they call me. That's, uh, that's Hogarth with one G, by the way, if you're putting in a good word with the Honorable Adjutant. Don't let me get in your way. Go on through. Can I talk to him? Don't let me oh. get in your way. Go on through. Well, like, when we were here before, and Parvati told me what she thought would be the best choice of action... Um... What do you think you're doing? What? I'm just taking stuff. What? You firing on me? What? Come on. Come on. I'm just taking stuff. That's rightfully mine. You can gas me up a little bit. Who do you think clear this place out, boy? Get shocked. Basic stories are now understanding. No, yeah, well, whatever. Plant worker. Oh, can I not get over to there from here, maybe? Oh, it's up. Oh, it's up there. Uh, is there a way up from here? No. I don't remember this place that well. Oh, we did level up. We're level 26. Wow. Pretty, pretty high level at this point. Uh, we could get to 60%. Corrosion damage, that's okay. Um... Engineering. I still like engineering a lot. Breakdown stuff. Medical stuff always sounds like fun. Lock picking. I intimidate. I think we're pretty good where we're at with this stuff. Hmm. Hack. Lock pick. I have to choose something. The fourth drug mixing slot for the inhaler. I kind of want that now. Make me druggy. Yes, I did invest all my points into that. We have another perk. More damage. Flat damage. Melee damage return is health. Area of effect received. Plasma damage received. <clears throat> Next attack. Science weapon damage sounds pretty good to me as well. What do we have up here? XP from companion kills. When alone. Walk speed. Sprint speed. Weapon. Companion crit chance. Additional ammo. Additional consumables and general stock, which I really don't buy very much of. Hmm. What about more science weapon damage? I'm still using this. Maybe not. Range attacks inflict minus one armor. Next attack. Ah, let's do that one. Penetrating shots.
Well, that's what I had to do. I didn't want to do it. Where's Barbati? Oh. That Chief Junlei sure seems well, huh? Um. Parvati, did you just not know what I just did? Well, I guess what I've done is what I've done. Nothing I can do. And these corporate guards were pieces of garbage. Alright, let's see. Sell anything? Oh. Ten armor? Probably worth selling that. As well as all my junk. I didn't want to do that, but... I gotta make sure that everyone that really matters continues to like me. Alright. For the good of the other people. Try to help as many people as I can. If I, uh, I don't feel good about this choice, but what's done is done. Oh crap, they got a lot of guards. It's fine, I could probably use, some, use up some of my medical stuff anyways. So guys, when's the last time we had this much combat? Not bad. Excuse me. Can you get, like, please stop firing at me at the moment? I'm just trying to pick up my pieces here. Very nice. Very nice. Oh. done is done I don't feel good about it but you know do the means justify the end or does the end justify the means maybe the end the end justifies the means I don't know well it's a good thing I took Victor Max and Parvati with me because if they didn't if I didn't then they'd probably be dead too Hmm. Is Parvati in here? Oh, good. We can talk to Sam for Ada. Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy like, ain't it? She doesn't care that we just killed everyone on Edgewater. You met that auto mechanical clanking around? Oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad would say. You giving him a nickname yet? Nah, but I've been thinking on one. Gotta get to know him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. It ain't nice to give folks a nickname without him giving you the okay first, you know? I think it's time you move along. All right, then. Okay. When I was stranded in Emerald Vale, I simulated a number of hypothetical scenarios hmm. in which Edgewater met its demise. Death by auto mechanical was number 57. Welcome back, Captain. Number 57. How can I be of assistance? Um, well, okay. See you soon, Captain. I thought she needed Parvati to talk to Sam, but okay. So, with this, let's go back to the landing pad. Boat. We'll this talk to Percival, Captain. and we'll talk to Akand, Akande, but then we'll go to the Hope. And do what needs to be done. Oof. Choices. Tough decisions must be made. Did I get... Did I pick up anything? I might have picked up some stuff that could be destroyed. Yeah, break that down. Necessary casualties. And Parvati went along with it the entire time. She didn't even say anything. It should have been more from her. Talking about that stuff.
Oh, that's Dr. Percival. I almost forgot. He doesn't have a quest marker over him. Adjutant Akande <clears throat> has instructed me to reward you for information leading to the arrest of Phineas Wells. Please allow wow. me to extend my felicitations on a job well done. Thank you. Quite so, sir. Board reputation increase? Good. I've just been informed that the problem of Edgewater has been permanently <coughs> resolved. Uh, it's done. You should be proud of yourself, Captain. You're on the verge of making history. There's just one last job I need you to do for me. I've made arrangements for you to journey to the Hope. You will board your former colony ship, reactivate its navigation systems, and skip the colony ship into orbit around Tartarus. Once the Hope is in position, we will have everything we need to begin healing the colony. Skipping? It sounds dangerous. You've proven yourself more than capable. I don't know if there's anyone better suited to this mission than you. One miscalculation and we'll skip the hope right into the sun. Give yourself some credit, Captain. You've come this far without dying in some senseless accident. Clearly the architect has a plan for you. So what's so important about the hope? Technology, Captain. The same technology that allowed you and your fellow colonists to make the journey from Earth to Halcyon. Under the Lifetime Employment Program, every suitable worker in Halcyon will be placed in suspended animation. The Hope is the perfect storage facility for the colony's workers. What about people on the Hope? I won't lie to you. We're going to have to dispose of some of the Hope settlers in order to make room for Halcyon's rotating workforce. But try to understand. Many of your fellow settlers are beyond saving. They've been frozen for far too long, and the revival process would be lethal. Why Tartarus? Convenience. The Hope is a massive ship and we'll need to make use of it. Our facilities in Tartarus will benefit from having the ship within orbit. Uh... I have the highest faith in your abilities, Captain. You and I are going to save Halcyon together. Okay, another level up. I mean, I'll, I love the level ups. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy them, but... These decisions, they're not easy to make. Bonus damage versus humans. I know I said this is an intelligence playthrough, but I'm loving this tech stuff. Nice. Oh, actually, can we just go ahead and go straight to our ship? No, not really. Nothing out of Parvati. Nothing out of Vicar Max. They both, I got them both from Edgewater, and they said nothing now. About how bad they feel or anything like that. Are they even alive? Where am I? Yeah, I can't fast travel out of here, I guess. Whatever, that's fine. Oh, man. These decisions. So not bueno. Now the question is, what am I going to do if I actually meet the board? Do I help Phineas right now and liberate everyone? Or do I help the board? Crew report. Nyoka is drunk. Surprise. Nyoka? Where's Nyoka? Vicar Max. Sam. Ellie. I wish I had names over these so you could see how things are happening. What things these things are like. Really, that's... This is definitely Parvati, so... Wait, where's the drunk... Where's the drunk one? She in the bathroom? She puking in here? It's only my legs. No, no, no. Guess I guess Nyoka was drunk. It's okay, it's only my legs again. So, right now. Land your ship in one of the Hope's docking places. I could do all this stuff, but... Eh... Collect three pheromones. Well, oh boy. To the hope. Tartarus. We have arrived at the hope. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the hope's auxiliary generator. 
You'll have to connect me to the hoax comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. So tell me about the hope first. The hope is the groundbreaker's prettier, sleeker sister. She wandered off and got lost for 70 years, but just recently was found. Also, there are hundreds of thousands of frozen organic life forms hibernating in her cold. So what's going to happen if I skip the hope? If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too, Or the sun. Forgetfulness can be an early warning sign of asphyxiation due to loss of pressurization. Are you breathing comfortably, Captain? I need you to reroute power from hmm. our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. All right. Well, looks like we got to go and get the Hope. Take someone to watch me. Go back. Oh, man. This is where decisions are made. Now, I was hoping to see the, like, the board of directors or whoever. And just kind of, if I could, I, you, you could always just blast them apart. But, um, I don't know. The Hope's auxiliary power. So what do I need to do? Which one is which? Reroute power from the Hope's skip drive to auxiliary power supply and patch Ada into the communications. Oh, wait. God dang it. Um, let's go to the communications area first. Workbench. Corporate guard. Quincy Duncan. Welcome aboard, Captain. Here's a Conde message ahead. I wish this place were in better condition for you, but we're in a bit of a bind. Seems the damn auto mechanicals think we're intruders. Why would they think that? Do I look like an engineer? All I know is they're shooting anyone who ain't Hope Crew. We shut off the main power, so they're disabled for now. If you go hooking your ship up, I suspect they'll recharge. And that means trigger happy auto mechanicals. I'm not going to get in your way. And I'm also not going to send more of my staff to their deaths. Are any, any of the old crew still around? We tried that. <clears throat> Didn't work. Something about our faces not matching up. We stored what cards we could find in the badge station to my right. But it's locked off. Can't just hand over whole property. Sorry. Alright. Haven't you heard? I was one of the Hope passengers. I'd heard rumors, but I never thought... So you're, what, 70-something years old? Whew. All right. I'll have someone open the door for you. Good luck. Well, technically, I mean, shouldn't I just be able to walk in there without any problems? This is considered stealing? Come on, man. Examine. Thurston Stallworth. Ah, uh, identity. What's over here? Let's see if we can close this door now. Oh, we can't even get that. Oh, is it? There's another way around here. God dang it. Get in here or get me out. Stay over there, my body. I gotta do some, uh, business. I got business to attend to. God, my body. Should have kicked you out long ago. All right. Oh wait, we can just lock. Oh, we can just lock pick that the entire time. I wonder if we'll discover anything interesting here. Continue. Messages. Frightening Epiphany. 50s when they arrive in Halcyon? You gotta help me, I'm going mental. It's a problem. Uh, Alright. Anything else nearby that I can loot before I want to go back? Yeah, I'll see what's in this thing. Auto mechanical. And reset.
Restricted. I don't think I can get through here. So, here we go. They think I'm one of their own. Will they interrogate me? They probably will. I'm getting further and further away from my thingamabob. Don't see me. See nothing. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, there's a terminal in here. Per body, get your booty in here. Error. Hook crew data not found. Identify yourself. I'm George Bush. Um, this statement is false. Error. Paradox protection protocols have prevented me from registering your stated identification. Please report to your nearest mechanical engineer. Everything I say is false. Error. Paradox <clears throat> prevention has temporarily disabled this unit's auditory processing. Thank you for your cooperation. Alright, whew. Well, let's see what's on the terminal. Oh, well, this is where we started. Remember with Phineas around here. Access to storage pods is currently unavailable. Power status report. Status. Um. Normal. Logs. Pod removal. Oh, that was me. By unknown crew member. Unknown stuff. Ah, that's. You all right, Captain? I mean, be in this place again. Kind of want to see what's this way. Oh. The elevators around here. I wonder. Can we find any? I doubt anyone's alive, or. Conscious, I should say, right now. Let's go ahead and pick the lock. Should we assign Sam for a cleanup? Incoming! Not sure if we should kill it or not, but it's done is done. That's the last of them. Well, at least we killed something and got something out of it. Ooh. Then again, all these people could have eaten that, but whatever. Oh, log entry. Um, what is this? Flamethrower? Flamethrower in there. Someone really burned this place up. Rabid sprats. Alright, well, let's keep going this way then. I want to know more. Manual log. Anyone's trying to figure out how we're going to eat? Um, all rations are off. There's a garden. Help me. I haven't been eating my rations. I don't need it. Hmm. Oh, God. They're starving on the colony ship. That is the comms. Well, let's hook this up. Cannot be powered unless the rea re reactor's repaired or auxiliary source is provided. Maybe I should have done that first. God dang it. Hmm. Well, whatever. So be it. Uh, let's refresh our thing real quick. I should have actually rerouted power. I thought we could do something before we could do that, but whatever. That's okay. Very interesting. We Need something, sir? Ask you about the ship? Sure. I ain't going anywhere. Is this all you do? Just guard this? Yeah. They posted us after the break-in. 
I figure it's a waste of time. Ain't nothing on this ship but death. Is everyone dead? But a job's a job. I don't think so. Here we are. Did Sophia mention anything? She didn't say why you're here. Just to cooperate. I'm guessing that puts you above our pay grade. So we ain't asking questions. Well, I don't even know about auto mechanicals. I should have done this earlier, I guess. But, uh... Come on, jump over. There we go. Go ahead. Uh, status. Oh, crud. What's a power status? Power save mode. Only last support is powered on. Um. Maintenance. Uh, there were quite a few days over done. Hibernation status. Storage is 12%. Logs. Pre-launch roll call. <clears throat> Hunt. Alright. Alright, well, before I do anything, I gotta keep an eye. Power up the skip drive. Patch aid enter the communication. Auxiliary power. So be it. Patch. All right. Power is on, Captain. Yes, it is. Let's see what happens. And actually, is there any other part of the mission? I just keep looking back at this just to make sure everything's okay. We've got three things of dialogue options to choose from. Let's go up this way this time. Terminal, continue. Exchanges. Torps. Not very much. Wait, this is stealing mag picks. What? Ammo. Can't do that. Can't do that either. Darn. No oh boy. Data not found. Identify yourself. Um, I was in one of the pods. Hello. I just woke up. Hibernation pod access is illegal. State your employer. Uh, uh spacer's choice. Register. A fine of 10,000 bits will be assessed in your corporation's ledger for failure to follow proper hibernation pod procedures. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, let's see. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. No, I can't do anything about that. Oh. Stuff. Terminal. Continue. We're slowing down. Um, let's pick up the skip drive. Hunt. UDL match has always been prevention. Oh, boy. Skip drive is toast. Nice. Your records indicate you have already been identified as non-standard personnel. State your purpose. Persuade. Error. Binary detected. Binary has been deprecated since the invention of Anticleo's patented trepanary language. Trepanary. More bits for your bits. All right, thank you. We appreciate your cooperation. Have a pleasant day. What's this? Oh, is this just another way to get around? Yeah, it is just another way to get around. Darn. Well, let's just go forward then. Nothing wrong with me. What's wrong with you? All right. Oh, wait, hold on. I need to reset access. There we go. I get a free reset of dialogue options. Which kind of doesn't make too much sense to me, but whatever. Alright. Logs. Audio log P. Wells. Let's go with that. Retreat from Hibernation Bay 8. Explosive cell death. My arch nemesis. Four hours of sleep in the last 72. Real name Harley Stanton, age 39, enjoyed singing. 
Couldn't save him. Um, he's losing it. He's going in. All right. Can you hear me, Captain? I have successfully integrated myself into the Hope's comm systems and am attempting to establish contact with the Hope's more primitive processor now. Would you like me to play a mood suitable music selection while you travel to the bridge? Oh, sorry. File not found. Oh, okay. Alright then, well, we'll see what happens. There's a door. Another door. A bin. Interstellar crew. Helps bridge. Combat drone. Uh, there's looks like a barred or sealed door. Let's go through here, perhaps. Close the door behind me. Avoid the mechanical. See what happens. That's the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Well, at the very least, this should be interesting. I don't think there's any robots around here, so if I think goes bye bye, it's fine with me. Oh, there's a oh, area down there. Um, let's see what the areas around here first. Uh, can I get back up here? I hope I can. I don't want to go down there and realize I can't get back up here. What's this? Personal log. Oh god, don't tell me they're becoming cannibals. Oh, is there something around here? These were the private quarters of the Hope's former crew. Shall we hold the moment of silence for the dearly departed? No. That's odd, because my programming would indicate that when forced to confront the idea of self-death, organics prefer... Oh, I see. Yes, never mind. The weight of this is almost too much, isn't it? Oof. Well, let's see what's around here first. Oh, nice, I got a shotgun. Well, unfortunately, my friends, we don't have that much time left in this video, so I must end it here. But tomorrow, we will go ahead and see what we can do with the hope and potentially do other stuff. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below, and I'll catch you all tomorrow as we make a massive, monumental decision with the hope and the future of Halcyon itself. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great, great day.